indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB led by Mazin Namdekanu, can be described as being a thorn in the flesh of leaders of the southeast and some parts of the south south in recent times, as they have launched a series of secessionistic activities capable of undermining the security of many states in the eastern region. States like Imo, Ebony, Abia, and Rivers have been experiencing an increased level of attacks and crime, largely as a result of the activities of unknown gunmen who many experts believe are members of IPOP. President Buhari had reacted to the recent increase in agitations in the East a few days ago, issuing out a strong statement that many in the country may have misunderstood. In an interview granted Arise TV, the president issued a strong warning to the agitators describing them as being a tiny dot in a circle. Buhari also wondered why the agitators were seeking for secession when, according to him, they had nowhere else to go. Recall that prior to the interview with Arise TV, the president had, through his Twitter handle, issued a strong warning to the secessionists stating that they would be treated in the language they, that they understand if they do not refrain from their activities. However, since the dots in a circle video was released, many Igbo leaders and analysts have condemned the statement of the president. Many misinterpreted it, saying that the president was referring to the entire Igbo race as a tiny dot in the map of the country. Now, in my opinion, according to this writer, this misinterpretation is largely untrue. If the video is properly scrutinized, you would observe that before the president made the dots in the circle statement, he was talking about IPOP. The president, therefore, may have meant that IPOP agitators are like a tiny dot in the circle of the southeast. This means that IPOP members represent only a tiny fraction of the voices in the southeast and that the agitations and calls for a separate Igbo nation is just like a tiny dot in the large circle of Igbo Nigerians, many of whom are not in support of the incessant agitations and violent activities from Namdekanu and his soldiers. I think it is not clear that the intentions of the president are pure and that he was only trying to state the cause from a tiny segment of Easterners, who Easterners should not be seen as the position of the general Igbo people. Many, however, misinterpreted this simple illustration by the president as they thought it meant that the old Igbo people are like a tiny dot in the map of Nigeria. I think this article has successfully clarified that wrong notion. Okay, um, um, I think uh, this is the this person. I don't know. You know, when people are speaking like this, most of the time, you'll be surprised that uh, most of them are speaking, or maybe they are card carry members or the supporters of the uh, government of the day. Because I don't know why the president who spoke boldly sp uh, spoke loudly and he spoke the under the language the old world understood and everybody understands what he was talking about so i see no reason why somebody would try to be um maneuvered or to manipulate or try to make people understand and first and foremost from my own understanding you know and a lot of people say oh maybe this is the reason why they don't even allow this man to be talking because when he talks you know there are no no wisdom and most of the times people try to to understand you know it's just like Somebody who is not well is not well who is not learned because you try to because your people's uh, reasoning is far 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 higher than that of the president. That is the way it is. And you begin to try to understand even the the way he speaks. You begin to try to understand, but most of most of the things that he says is always destructive to the people. Because if this person is trying to tell us, if this uh, writer is trying to tell us that uh, oh maybe they misunderstood. The president. So the uh, the question is that, and the so-called IPOP that this person is uh, referring to, do you, do we have a? Because the president said all over the country that everywhere in the country they are building, doing their businesses, they are making uh, building houses, uh, doing their businesses. Nobody is disturbing them. I have never heard that uh, IPOP members are in the north agitating. Mm -mm, I have never heard that. I have never heard, them, heard that. IPOP members are in Lagos. I have never heard that IPOP members are in, in whichever way, whether in Benue State. 
maybe you can say maybe uh, south south or maybe most of the time maybe rivers and rivers and aqua bomb maybe uh, sometime but majorly they are in the southeast so how does that translate that they are building uh buildings here they are building here and they all over the place they are doing their businesses all over the place what does that mean that statement alone because where they have their agitation is their is in their their region so because i've never seen them in ogu state but you can see Igbo people in all over the places, all over the place, even all over the world, they are there. So for this person to not try to justify, to try to make people understand, people understand you should not tell Nigerians what is it and what is not. They understand loud and clear. So if you are trying to, maybe this one is just a afterthought, try to defend him. You can't defend him. You can't even defend the Fulani. Go and ask uh, Fanny, uh, Fanny Coyote. The more you try to, to defend them, the, try, <laughs> the more you put yourself in, 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 in trouble. He said they are all over the place doing their businesses. They are building here and there. IPOB, IPOB members are not there. IPOB members are not there. For the fact that we have majority of the people from the South East that you can say, oh, they, they support this, uh, the, the struggle or the agitation for Biafra. It is not everybody. Even if you have a 95%, the other five percent, you can't just generalize that. Oh, they are in support of IPOP, and they don't have a branch, branch a year and there all over the country. So, trying to justify what Buari said, I don't know whether it makes uh, it holds water to me. It holds no water at all. It does not hold any water. So, this uh, writer, you're your own. He, he meant what he said, and he used the same language. We would, we would, we would teach them the language they understand. It is only Biafra body now Buari till they get power. See what they happen for the north now. The Zamfara governor has cried out that many of the places have been taken over in his state and the security situation in Zamfara is 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 getting worse day by day. But these are the same people who gave a bandit two months and two months is now going three eh, four months now. They should repent. They told the bandit to repent. If they don't repent, now something will happen. See today, did they even send anybody down there? the Nigerian army to go and fish them out. No. And you are trying to justify. That is the same way. People were like, oh, it never meant that uh, uh, the, the 1967 or 1960 something, whatever, that it didn't mean it. And again, he came out and say a dot again. And you people, you think uh, Nigerians are stupid. No, Nigerians are not stupid. Buari has never hidden his hatred for Igbos. Don't come and be giving us useless explanation. I think uh, you are right. It's a statement we all heard him saying. Individuals understanding might be a problem. I heard what he said. Period. Others' interpretation to me hold no water. Okay. The author does not know what he's talking about. Who are Igbos? What is the meaning of IPOP? Do you think the Northerners don't see all Igbos as IPOP? You should reason before writing trash. Yes. <laughs> They will come out tomorrow and begin to tell you what is not. So guys, leave your comment down there and let us know your thoughts. Thank you.